Hey guys and welcome back. We're doing some changes to the uh, turtle tank so I figured I'd show you guys where I'm at so far before I put the plants in. So we've got this new log here. Got some plants that are in here that were old. I added more soil so this is much deeper. We changed the water. Say hi maple. Hi maple. Turtles are eating. That log was put back there. We've got that one that I carved out. Um, if you guys don't remember what it looks like underneath, it's pretty cool. Take it underneath there and see how it's all dug out. Then I have a temperature thing that was sitting outside the cage, so it's not showing the right temperature right now. That's another spot that they sleep. Look, this is what it looks like right now. I'm going to go get some more plants, and I'll show you guys what it looks like after I fill it in. Okay. Here's some of the plants. I'm getting them from my own backyard, so you can see some of the holes that I've made. Um, I'm purposely getting them from my yard so that it is as natural as possible. I prefer a more natural looking tank. Blaze is out here. Chewing on a stick. Okay, I'm gonna get back to digging. So I just started putting some plants in here. As you can see, there's a few of them here. And this little mist decides to come jump in the turtle tank. Yep, that's Mocha. It's her first time in here. She hasn't seen the turtles before. She was a little confused. They're just hanging out. They're like. Trouble's eating a worm. Yeah. So, I just wanted to show you that she jumped on in here to help, apparently. Alright, let me get back to this. So, everything's planted. Um, if you like what we've done, go ahead and hit that like button for me. And if you'd like to subscribe to see more, hit the subscribe and turn that bell on so you know when we post again. Alright. I guess I will now show you what it looks like. We've got all sorts of native plants. We've got grass. I'm not quite certain what this is, but it's native. All this stuff came from my backyard. Um, none of it's going to hurt them. Because it. these are eastern box turtles. They are from this area. So nothing here can hurt them. We've got some clovers down in here. We've got a little bit of clovers here. Some more old strawberries. More grass. This is Creeping Jenny. Um, not 100% certain what these guys are, but they're all over. I mean, if they eat any of this, it's not going to hurt. This is just weeds. Um, it's not going to hurt them. They're not likely to eat it anyways. The most will, they might eat the, the clovers and wild strawberries. Oh, wild strawberries, guys. Once these get strawberries on them, they'll definitely eat the strawberries. This is just a, another plant here. And then on this side, we've got some more grass. And some other stuff. This is down in there, if you can see. She's uh, replanting already, so we'll have to fix this one. I'm sure they'll they will move them around. Some of them will get trampled, but being as they're weeds, they'll be pretty tough. And um, they'll be able to put up with it. They can. They've put up with a lawnmower running over them, so anything the turtles do isn't going to be too <laughs> extreme. Oof, I hit my light. That hurt. Um, so yeah, just wanted to show you guys that we're all planted. That's just some moss back there to start covering things up. We've brought some fresh earthworms in. You guys saw trouble eating some of those earlier. Just to keep them entertained. This one's Trouble. Say hi, Trouble. Yeah, he's a pretty boy. 
And there's Lesnica. I did give them places where they could continue digging, but like I said, this is all weeds, and all of them have a habit of uh, just spreading. So we'll end up with this all filled in, and I think it will look really nice. At least that's what I'm hoping. I want it to look as natural as possible. And I did get, like, this one, where it's a bit taller of a plant. Um, it does shoot off, like, here's the other one. These are actually the same plant. There's a big vine that goes underneath it and connects the two of them. So I had to plant that. That's just a piece of grass that's in there. But yeah, there's a long vine that goes... So this guy does offshoots, and he goes, and so it'll go to this one. So these three are connected. So it will grow in and fill in this back line and make that really, I think it'll make it look really pretty once it fills in. It won't look so, uh, job. I think that everybody will enjoy it. Oh, trouble hissed at me. Just trying to get into the plastic. I don't want them ripping it up. It's part of why I'm putting so many plants in here so that they won't feel the need to hide as much under the soil to make them more comfortable. But yeah. So what do you guys think? Does it look pretty good? Go ahead and let me know in the comments what you think and I'd be very happy to hear from people. And then we'll, uh, but yeah, we're going to let you guys go. You have a wonderful day. Say bye, Lestica. Bye. Bye, guys. Have a good day.